Well, I want to show you this tree. You see it? Bark falling off of it? It's dead. It's dying. And look, it's right across the walkway. So that's what we call the Widowmaker. And ever who's responsible for the city needs to know about this. So if you got an inroad to send them a link, cut them an email, do whatever you can to let's get the word out that this is a whittle maker. And I had reported last year that it was a limb about to fall and that's the one laying on the ground right over there. All they did was come out and push it off to the side, look up at the tree and say, well, it ain't gonna fall anytime soon. Well, that's a horrible way to think about it because when it does fall, it's going to fall and you don't want nobody to be underneath it. And this trail is going to start getting real busy when the weather gets right. Look at that one right there. It's broke and fell over onto that one. Now, I don't understand the hypocrisy of the city and the, the people that are in, responsible for this trail using taxpayer money not to clean it up, not to get rid of a Widowmaker when they see it. And if they're not ever so often riding down these, this, or walking down this way to see, you know, to do a, what do you call it, inventory it, just look at it. This is the time of year to do it because you can see it. It's better to do it now in the fall than wait till you, the, all the green is over because it'll look like it's natural, you know. You can't see the fact that it's as dangerous as it is. So now is the time. When this one fell, it fell all across here. You see what I'm talking about? And these pieces is what they moved. They moved it back off of the trail. I mean barely off of the trail. That's the kind of things that's happening into Ozarks tax money. And I don't know about y'all, but man, I bought a battery, a car battery, and it was like huge amount of taxes, 30 something dollars. And I mean, how often do we make these kinds of purchases here in Ozark? All the time. Somebody is getting the money. Well, I know a lot more than the city mayor and the city alderman and the uh, city manager wants me to keep hammering to people that live here about the CAFAR, Comprehensive Annual Report Form. Well, I found a PDF that they have on file, made a blog page about it, and I may put a link in the description to give you an idea how much money they have that they have on their second set. Yes, it's a buddy that people say, ah, oh, buddy, it's not a second set of books. Yes, it is. It's a second set of books. It's coded, and they, they know it. The mayor said he never heard of it, but once I showed him and told him about it, he went and looked it up. Next time I seen him, he said, well, you're right, but it's about assets. It's not about cash. Well, he's wrong again. It's about cash. $85 million for a size of Ozark. And the time that the PDF was, was, they gave was either 2012 or 2013. Now, you know what they're doing with that money? They're gambling with it on Wall Street, and they're making money. These people don't lose money. They make money. And it just keeps rolling over and rolling over. So 85 million is what they're willing to tell people. Ain't no telling, how, it could be three times that much. And then here we got Widowmakers in a beautiful place like this that will attract attention and people would love coming here. And uh, I'll give you this, in Houston, Texas, when I lived there uh, for a while, there was a Buffalo Creek ran through it all the way to what we call Bush Park. And I'm telling you, I met many people said that they purposely selected to get a job in Houston, Texas for the cycling because you could literally ride all the way across Houston, Texas along the banks of the Buffalo Creek and get over to the sure enough riding tracks that would take you hundreds of miles around Bush Park. You just make laps, you'd be 200 if you wanted it. And there's no traffic, no foot traffic over there. But 
So these people have got to get rid of that uh, water maker. So if you can help me get this message to the right people at the city, I may call the mayor, tell them to take a look at my video. And let's, let's see them how fast they can get it fixed for Buddy. And I really, I'd hate to see somebody get hurt with that, especially now that I'm talking about it. But one good wind and that whole tree could come down on top of somebody. So if you're walking on this trail, I pointed it off to you after you get to this bridge where it starts getting trees over your head. Yeah, look at it and pay attention because it's going to come down. It's just a matter of time. Hopefully we can get it cut down and done right so it ceases to be a Widowmaker. All right, I don't think I'm going to go as far as I normally do. <laughs> I, I still got... Uh, I got to ice his foot down. And uh, so you gotta take care of your body, man. All right, I, I, I wanna push, but there's certain, certain things that you can't push. And when you're starting back and trying to get a jump start on when I normally start in the spring riding a bike, I gotta stay on task. It's better to take a day like this and just call it a a recovery day that's what this one is this is a recovery walk because I gotta recover from his sore foot <laughs> already already to turn into something and that's why I said about ice and that's why I'm gonna put ice on it look I really really appreciate you if you watch this all the way to now you're a really true good friend of mine and I appreciate your comments if there's anything about Ozark or in Ozark you want to get uh, me to talk about or do video of just let me know um, I am scheduled to go back to Pinsmore can't say when but I got a real big shocker and a surprise for everybody it'll be the update and uh, so stay for look for that subscribe that way you'll get the notifications of the upcoming uh, Pinsmore update all right, everybody have a wonderful day and join me out here on this walking track. Later.